Welcome viewers to my channel please endeavor to like, share and subscribe, so you will be the first to view brand new informations. Via Mediate, there's a tacit trust in the internet generation that the proof to settle any dispute is out there, ready to be observed if you're inclined to search difficult enough. Even an unsolvable dispute like a he said she stated between Cassidy Hutchinson and Tony Ornato about what Trump was doing in the presidential SUV on January 6. Obviously no one aside from these who had been in the car will ever be aware of if he tried to snatch the steerage wheel or lunged at an agent who tried to intervene. Yet the silliness under has greater than a million views on Twitter today, a testimony to the power of inspired reasoning someone's going to have to produce higher pictures than this, it simply appears like a bunch of blobs to me stated Liz Mayer. It appears like blobs to me too. The most I can say is that a hand possibly Trump's hand, perhaps no longer reaches up and ahead at one factor for motives unknown. This clip, which sheds no extra light, is coming near 700,000 views as I write this why, would he have grabbed the wheel to maintain them from leaving, if he desired to go to the Capitol? He would have demanded they pressure there or, if he desired to throw warning to the wind, he would have refused to get in the SUV in the first vicinity, and would have begun walking. Even so, the likes of Keith Olbermann are impressed with the footage. They prefer it to be proper and so it is. It's like a left-wing model of the notorious surveillance video supposedly displaying Georgia ballot people unboxing unlawful ballots in the useless of night. There's some other tacit of faith that colorings politics in the internet age, that each and every dispute with a different aspect should be litigated to the fullest, even when doing so is dangerous to your personal cause. Liberals will in no way show that Trump obtained aggressive in the SUV, and each and every minute they insist on battle on that turf, attracts interest away from Hutchinson's greater damning declare that Trump knew the crowd at the rally had weapons. Worse, Hutchinson's testimony depends on the credibility of Ornato, who, to my amazement, was interestingly deemed much less than credible by way of the committee based totally on testimony he gave beforehand this year. For instance, Ornato informed them at the time that there was nothing extra Trump ought to have carried out to dissuade the rioters, as soon as the assault was below way, I declare many different witnesses disputed. Why the hell did they have Hutchinson testify to a sensational allegation made through Ornato, when the committee itself appears to assume Ornato is untrustworthy I battle to apprehend why they had her point out the SUV incident in the first place, if it was primarily based on an unreliable supply, and they have no way to corroborate it. The supply additionally stated that secret service marketers would inform testimonies of Trump throwing things in anger, which helps Hutchinson claiming that Trump threw a plate with meals on it in the course of his assembly with Bill Barr in December 2020. It's not simply CNN that's heard rumors of an altercation between Trump and the secret service on January 6, allegedly. They've been circulating for a while all of this is satisfactory and fascinating as improved to Hutchinson's credibility, but the prize stays whether or not anybody can corroborate that Trump knew there have been weapons at the rally earlier than the insurrection. Does the committee have whatever to aid that? Stay tuned.